This YouTube video relates to the use of WebSnapper, a very nice application for the Mac. What it allows you to do is go to a website, and assuming that you find the website uh, article of interest, to use WebSnapper to convert that site to a PDF, which contains all active links within the PDF. Let me show you. Here is a uh, there are findings that I've found with a search using Google on multiple sclerosis. I'm going to click on this, and it takes me to an article about stem cells for a form of multiple sclerosis called primary progressive MS. This appears to be of interest to me, and I figure if I'm going to read it, I might as well be able to read it and annotate it within a PDF. So I'm going to drag this URL over to the WebSnapper app. It's going to show that it's analyzing it. While it's doing that, I want to uh, make you aware that dragging just involves grabbing this icon, holding your mouse button down, and dragging it over to this section of WebSnapper. It shows that the page is ready. You can email it directly from here if you wanted to, or you can download it. I'm going to choose Download. It's going to allow me to select whatever location. I've already selected multiple sclerosis before. And I'm going to type in here uh, the file name. And I'm going to use the author's last name, Zimni. And I don't see a date on there. So I'll leave that blank and I'll put in uh, web stem cells for primary progressive MS. And I'm going to save that. And you can see that it's saving it here. It's preparing it. And I already have my finder window open. Here is the file in the Finder window, and that's one of the settings in WebSnapper that you can choose, and I'll show you this in a second. So here is the, uh, the article with the file name that I've given. Here is what this article looks like using the preview section of, uh, of the Finder. Uh, of interest is that WebSnapper even throws into the comment section, if you have this included in your finder, the URL uh, for that particular article. And now if I click on this, double click on it, here is the article from the website. I'm going to move this over to the right. Here is the original article over here in the active uh, uh, website. And just to show you, within this article that WebSnapper has saved, you have active links, as you can see with the, the hand uh, being activated. Uh, I could print this if I wanted to. I could email it from here if I wanted to. And I can also use my Adobe Acrobat uh, to annotate this in, a, in whatever way I wish to. So I can go over here and click the underline and I can, I'm sorry, that's the line, I can underline it over here, and I can, uh, if I felt that this was important, I can go ahead and underline that, and there you see the underline. And then I could just save that as, as before, close it down, and here is the article. Now within WebSnapper, let's see if I can show you this, uh, you have preferences that I can play sound effects of. I don't know about some of these different uh, uh, options because I'm new to this application. You can save it in this format or in another format, for example, a graphic format, but I, that doesn't serve my purpose. Uh, I've, it's embedded the URL of the page within the document. Uh, 
You can send it to wherever you want. What I did was I clicked on Auto Show in Finder, and then after the first uh, file was saved, I selected the folder, the MS folder, uh, the MS folder that I uh, was working on. As you can see down here, this folder is the multiple sclerosis folder. Here is the file that I just saved. So this is all within the finder. If I go back to uh, this article and just show you that Web Snapper has also thrown into the bottom of this the URL and the title of the article, Will Stem Cells with Help with Primary Progressive MS? And here it is over here. So that's my review of WebSnapper. And I'm going to shut this down. And stop recording this and